I wish the election result will be cancelled and Tinumbu's victory nullified, says Asari Dokubo. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Asari Dokubo is a known person, especially very visibly, during this new dispensation of President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Is somebody who came into consciousness many years ago due to militancy in the all rich Niger Delta area of Nigeria. The militant, who was known to be very aggressive and always outspoken, is one person that caused shivers down the spine of federal government of Nigeria, especially during the term of the late um, ex president. Um, Yaradua and um, with the VP being Jonathan Goodluck during the time when everything was just all muddled up and the country was almost brought to his knees Asari Dokubo and also the other camp Tombolo were engaged to be able to you know stop the destruction of the oil facilities that were constant or are constant in Niger Delta region. During the first or first two weeks that the president Bola Metinobu came into power, we saw how Asari Dokubo paid a visit to Aso Rock and gave a speech at the media center asserting authority that anybody that is against Tinumbu literally means the person is against him, meaning he was ready to defend Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's administration. Days after that, he continually granted a lot of other interviews as well and, in fact, showed his army of guys saying that, you know, they were ready, you know, and all of that. Now, let's get into the news proper. After the recently concluded 2023 elections, one of the most contentious allegations is that the election was manipulated to benefit certain candidates. Asari Dokubo, through a Facebook live video, expressed his desire for the election to be cancelled and Bola Tinumbu's victory to be invalidated. He proceeded to provide his own rationale. As per his viewpoint, those who claim that Peter Obi emerged victorious in the election should recognize that presidential triumph do not arise from a party without structure. Additionally, he argues that even if the election was held 10 times, Obi would not emerge as the winner. In his words from the two, 27 minutes, 7 seconds time stamp in the video, he said, I hope the election gets cancelled and Tinobu's victory gets annulled. If it were feasible, let's hold another election to demonstrate that Tinobu clearly won. Let's see if it won't be a significant challenge for Obi to secure a single state this time. We observe it in the gubernatorial election where the Labour Party was only able to secure Abia states. This reaction, once again, from Asari Dokubo has caused a lot of reactions from Nigerians. While some are saying that, well, it might be right, some are also at the opposite side saying he doesn't have the clout for what he's trying to do, that he's just trying to gather his followers and to paint the picture of being significant. In this current administration the last time we went to aso rock days after we heard when it was said in the news that all ex-militants were bad from aso rock and when this statement was shared online he responded to say that nobody can ban him from aso rock that he even does not like to go to aso rock that it was the president's son who invited him over and of course with the approval of the president that he is not just in um, for the presidential attention because he has always gathered attention right from when you know he came into limelight during the Yaradua slash Jonathan Goodluck's administration. So now that um, he has decided to stay away, people are saying there's a way to always meet. He doesn't have to do it the, in quotes, the gallant way he did the other time. Um, but that, you know, you should just tone it down because somehow the presidency does not want to be known to encourage, you know, militancy. And so people are asking questions to say, what right does he have to have an army 
and share a video like he shared online a um, few months ago where he had his men who were carrying, I mean, a cube, um, weapons and all of that. So thereby causing a kind of unsettlement amongst people, especially because the final verdict or judgment of the tribunal was just a few days away from that time. So what's your opinion on this? Do you agree with him that if the election of um, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu was nullified, um, that Peter Obi would not be able to even win a single state in Nigeria? We would like to hear from you. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. And to existing subscribers, thank you for always, always stopping by. We'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely day and bye for now.